The three-day Vienna Energy Forum that took place in the Hofburg Palace between the 21st and the 23rd of June was organized by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the Austrian Federal Ministry for European and International Affairs and the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. Participants in turn pointed to a deep inequity that exists between the rich and the poor, saying that roughly the poorer three-quarters of the world's population use only 10% of the world's energy. About 1.5 billion people still don't have access to electricity, and around 3 billion people rely on traditional biomass and coal as their primary source of energy. The uh, Vienna uh, Energy Forum is, uh, is one of many gatherings uh, trying to solve this energy problems facing the poor, but uh, I believe uh, this specific forum organized by UNIDO and uh, uh, directed uh, uh, by this uh, very able uh, uh, Director General Mr. Kenda uh, Yomkella is really probably the best uh, forum to handle this issue and to gather support for uh, uh, the objective of uh, reaching this energy for all in the year 2030. Uh, also, it is very important because it is uh, uh, supported by the United Nations. This is very important. Uh, you know, the problem of, uh, of the world now is that you have eight millennium development goals, uh, but you don't have uh, any goals and that is really dealing with energy. So I think uh, the, one, of the, one of the good things that can you know, emerge from this gathering is to recognize energy for the poor and the eradication of energy poverty uh, as one of these uh, 8 millennium development goals because you have 1.8 billion people as we are talking now deprived from electricity. The OPEC Fund for International Development, uh, OFID, which is established 35 years ago and celebrating this year of its uh, anniversary, is actually uh, working with all developing countries across the globe, excluding our member countries. Uh, and regardless of uh, geog geography or ideology, we are uh, involved in many sectors, uh, infrastructure, infrastructures, education, health, etc. Energy is taking uh, also, uh, it, it's assumed something around 19 or 20 percent over the 35 years. But for the last three years, the share of energy and our uh, commitments uh, is exceeding 25 or 26 percent. So we are giving more attention now to energy for the poor, and this is in line with the instructions which we received from our head of state when they gathered in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in November 2003. I believe UNIDO is one of the best uh, organization uh, that's well fit actually to handle this very important issues because of this uh, new commission which is chaired by Mr. Yom Kalla and because that um, uh, from time to time uh, Mr. UNIDO is well connected with all organizations, with IASA, with OFID and we are in, uh, on a, almost on a daily or weekly coordination with them. They are in the business of uh, this uh, you know, industrial development in, in many developing countries and of course they believe that clean energy and energy for the poor, energy for all is in the heart of their business. So uh, they, they receive our full support and we are uh, from time to time meeting with them and uh, actually we are inviting them to a, a workshop that we will have in, in, uh, in Venezuela this fall.